Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. Uh, thank you for joining me this evening. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing. Um, I received a package. Um, I'm pretty certain I know what this is. I believe it is Moda Scrap Bags. I had ordered three of them. I'm going to be opening the box here because it's got my address so I'm not turning you guys down until I have my address not shown and or the things out of the box. So, um, but anyway, I've, I've been watching uh, YouTube videos on people that got some motor scrap bags and they had some really great fabric in it. And I'm hoping this time of year I'll be getting some Christmas fabric in it. Maybe some end of the season. I'm just going to be throwing this down. Oh, Lordy, they sucked these things up in there, didn't they? So I can't even look in the window and see what I got. I don't know why they did that. That box was big enough to hold all this stuff. So, let me get this all out of... Oh, I see some pretty fabric. I'm not sure what it is, but I see some pretty fabric. I'm getting all of this out of here. Wonder, boy, they smushed these back. But there's one. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, this one's got dark colors in it. There's two. Oh, and here's another light color. There's three. So, I am going to turn you guys down when when I quit talking to you. And I'm, I'm looking down and I'm sorry. Um, if you don't know what a Moda scrap bag is, that is when they get to the... Okay, Moda does pre-cuts. And when they get to where... To the end of a bolt... They'll go on and cut, but actually, I'm guessing when they do their pre-cuts, they do like probably a hundred pieces at one time. So a hundred bolts at one time. So whatever is left, they put in these um, scrap bags. So you're very likely, if you get any of these, you're probably going to have salvage like on the back side of it somewhere. So, which is fine with me because I've been seeing where people make selvage quilts. I think that's amazing. So, I'm just going to go on and get into this. So, give me one second and I'll turn you guys down. Okay, I'm hoping you can hear me real good. I do not have my mic on today. Uh, I've just been having trouble with it. So, if you see over here... I've got my pressed flowers getting ready to do that too. So I am going to start with this roll because I'm very interested in what this roll is. Okay. So I do see some salvage. It just says Moda Fabric Supplies. But y'all, there's some very pretty fabric in this. Okay, so I'm going to lay it here. <clears throat> Excuse me if I'm clearing my throat. These are some pretty ones. Okay, I'm going to turn it the other way and hopefully I will find... Because these are probably from the same line. This is Room for Beauty. So I'm not sure who it is. If you know who this is, let me know. Because I don't know who this is. Like a... I said in a prior video, I'm so new to this. I don't know who the designers are. I don't know who the makers. I don't know any of that. Oh, I love, love, love this. Now, I'm surprised that the selvage is on this end because I fully expected it to be on the outside edge. Because some I've seen that's what they are. Maybe it was a different bag, scrap bag. But these are so pretty. Look at these colors. I've got kitty cats over here trying to... No, no. Assert their dominance. That's a beautiful color there. 
I have to make sure to keep speaking up at you here because I do not have, like I said, I don't have my mic on. And uh, <clears throat> this is morning light. I don't know if this is a a full line here. This, but they are matching fabrics, though. So that's all that matters. These are some very pretty. I love all these blues and aquas. These are. These will make a nice jelly roll quilt. Y'all, because this is a full, these are all, it looks like two and a half by width of fabric. So, let me see. Put that on the line. Yep, these are all two and a half by width of fabric. So, in essence, I got a jelly roll in the back. I got a mystery jelly roll. That one just says Moda Fabrics. I love these with these little flowers. Let me pull that where you can see that. Look at those little flowers. Those are gorgeous. Now, some of these may be a little shorter, but I don't know. I can't really tell. And that's a real pretty pattern there, too. Look at that. And y'all know the 16th is jelly roll day. So what better thing to do than make a jelly roll out of my scrap bag? Oh, that's pretty too. And I think I know just the pattern. Probably the pattern that I made my granddaughter's quilt with. That was a beautiful pattern. I like. Now this is that same pattern, just a different color scheme. I'm trying to find a selvage that has a name because I'm thinking this is like what was left over out of a jelly roll maybe they had cut too much now see there's another one that has this same design on it I believe up here at the front it is it has that same design on it modafabrics.com 100% cotton it's, it is such a, a mystery here for me I want to know what this is oh my goodness because these are so pretty I mean all I keep seeing oh, here's one that had a, a little bend in it so it's this is a miscut all I see is that morning light Okay, Cole McCray. I don't know the name, but I mean, I've already said, I, I don't know who designers are. Unless it's someone that I've used before, I don't really know who they are. And here's a, a gray in the little X's. Let's see if this says... There is always room, and it gives me a stock number on there, too. And this is that same pattern, just different color. Mode of Fabric Supplies. Doesn't tell me a name, but that's a pretty fabric. I like the grays and the yellows, too. Those, those are real pretty. But y'all can see this is a really pretty, you know, great. And I know y'all have a shadow on you because my overhead light. Let me cut this light on here. Ooh, that thing is so bright. Okay, it says Cole McCray again. Okay, now here's a cream color. Well, it does kind of have a design on it. It's, uh, I guess they call it low content. It's got a white. I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold that up there a little bit so you can see it. And once again, if y'all know what this line is, let me know. I don't know who, who Cole McCray is, and this one doesn't have it. So, But yeah, this is a nice little um, scrap bag. To me, it is. I mean, 
I would have loved to have gotten some Christmas, but I didn't. But that's okay. That's why it's called a scrap bag. It's a mystery. But I didn't even count those. But I'm I'm going to count them later on. And um, you know that that could my goodness, this could be just about a whole jelly roll. Well, not really. It's not as big as a jelly roll, but but that's first bag down, and that's a good bag. Now, I am going to do the dark colored one now. I'm not much on these dark colors like this. I like light colors, which that last bag is a lot of light colors. Now you can see the, I don't know what people call this, but let's get this open. Oh, it's got some. Oh goodness, it's got a lot of the Okay, well, we have this dark green. And that these are pretty fall fall looking colors. And that one, these are the keepers of looks like dreams. And then we have a navy blue with different colored flowers here. It says dragonflies. Now, I have heard of dragonflies. But I don't, I don't know if I know what that is, really. This is a pretty navy with flowers and leaves. And look at that. That's a really light and bright color there. Let's see if it... Keep your, is all that it says, on the salvage. This one is just a, a burgundy maroon color. It just says Moda on it. And we got some flowers here. And then we have a cream color with some leaves on it. Nothing on the salvage. This one says dragonflies. It says dragonflies are, and I bet it, it's dragonflies are the keepers of dreams or something like that. So, th oh, this is called daffodils and something. So maybe we can figure out what the daffodils and something is. Or that's what one of the fabrics is. We've got another cream. Oh, it's daffodils and dragonflies. We've got this pretty cream. Look at those deep colors there. And then we have the little leaves again. I think this was a collection right here. And this is kind of like what wasn't needed to make a jelly roll. Then we have this. It's got um, like vines going straight across it. And then we have the leaves again on this one. Oh, this looks like it's got berries on it. It may be just small flowers. So we know this is daffodils and dragonflies. And this is just a cream with a, a design on that. I'm not real sure what that design is. But it's daffodils and dragonflies. So then we have a rust color with the flowers, a rust color with the 
vine. I'm trying to go fast because I know I've got a whole nother bag over here. Then I have a rust color with the the uh, little flowers there. Rust with the leaves, the fallen leaves. Rust with the, the bigger flowers here. And then rust with a leaf set and rust with the big big roses so this one here is daffodils and dragonflies so we did figure out that this collection's name it looked like they just had this kind of folded in on itself like this and then folded over like this to make a yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Whew, but it's got a lot of... A lot of stuff there. So now for our third bag. This is the one I'm interested in seeing. I'm surprised I haven't seen Lori Hulk. I, I don't know if any of this is any of her lines. I don't think it is. But... Okay, this is the scraps that I was anticipating seeing. This has the selvage along the outer edge. So let's see. Mary Davis. It says Moda Fabrics. Okay, I'm going to open this all the way up. Promenade by Three Sisters. Okay, I've heard of that one. That one's very pretty. Let me get these other rolls out of the way. But that's a big enough piece to um, get a good, a good jelly roll out of. And here's another mint green with little flowers. <gasps> Look at these paisleys. Oh, these are so pretty. Yeah, so this is the promenade line by Three Sisters. Now, this to me is a true remnant. The other two is just extras. You know, like extra strips of a jelly roll. And I find this really exciting because I love these blues. Oh, these are so pretty to me. I love blues and pinks and grays and the pastel -y colors. I love this. So maybe I'll have, I need to start saving my selvages. I don't get too many fabrics with selvage on it because, well, I do have some, but I'm going to have to start saving all my selvages. And this is the last piece of the blue. Now we're going to yellow. And these are some good sized pieces. I mean, I can easily, it looks like all of them will make a jelly roll. So now we've gone to the yellows. Looks like of this line, got our paisleys there. Got our little white flowers here. little pink flowers here or bouquet looking things there and then we got really little flowers here I don't know if that distorts the color when I get it that close I have heard it does 
but nobody has told me that it does on mine, so I don't know. So if it does, let me know. We didn't have too many of the yellow pieces. But we may have more because we've come to the gray colors now. Some of these do have salvage, some don't. Well, I mean, they have the end right here. You can tell where the end of the fabric is. And here's a gray color. And it looks like that's the only gray color we have. So now we've gone to the, these are whites. Oh, I like these. I may be able to use these on one of my jelly roll quilts that I need um, some sashing in. Now these are really, and these are, like I said, my colors. I love these colors. I said tonight, I was telling my husband on the way home, I told him, I said, I'm not going to go home and record. It's been a long day because it's, it's 7.35 p.m. And uh, it has been a long day because I get to work at 6 a.m. And I'm tired. But when I came home and I saw this, I was like, no, I have to record this because I have to let y'all know what I got. It's so pretty. Look at that. I love these paisleys. Those are just adorable. Oh, here we have a little darker. So now we're, we got away from the white. Now we're going to the, I don't know what color that is. Tan, linen. But yeah, this is a really, really good bag, I think. Actually, I think all of them are really good bags. I don't know what I'm going to do with the dark color one yet. Because like I said, I am i don't do a lot of dark colors. So I don't... Ooh, that's a bright, playful looking one right after this one. So I guess this is the white white. The other one was more of a cream. This looks like it's a white, white. And we have two of the same thing right here. So I'm just going to show them to you at the same time. But yeah, these are just, I mean, it's the same fabrics. I'm not going to keep y'all because it's getting a little long. It's the same exact fabrics. And we've got some duplicates down here too. So, but yeah, if y'all get any of the Moda scrap bags, hold one second, I'll bring you back up. If y'all get any of the Moda scrap bags, tell me what you think about them. I mean, have you been really pleased with them? Um, I truly believe this is worth my money because I didn't pay, but I think I paid $40 for three of them for three bags. And that was shipping and everything. I think I paid $40. Yeah, it was like $40 and or $41. It was no more than $41. But for both of the, all three of the bags, shipping, everything was uh, 40 something dollars. 40, it was, like I said, no more than 41. So, but yeah, just tell me what you think. If you've gotten these bags, um, have you had good luck with them? Are they hit and miss? Because I am thinking about ordering some more. Um, I do know that I got, um, I think it was Fat Quarter Shop, or was it Missouri Star Quilt Company? One of them, I got their scrap bag. I can't remember which one it was, but there was some really nice fabric in that bag. So, and it was a good size piece. Some of them were more than 12 inches. So, yeah, if you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. If you like unboxings and DIYs and crafts and cooking, 
gardening. Um, not a lot of gardening, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment. Give me, let me know what you think. I do respond to every single comment left on my videos. Uh, at this point, I do. Um, and as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Thank you guys. Goodbye.